Welcome to this video, which will guide you through correcting the detection accuracy of the flow rate value for the FDR series of clamp-on ultrasonic flow meters. The objectives for this video are to introduce the common causes of detection inaccuracy for ultrasonic clamp-on flow meters, and then discuss how correcting the detection accuracy is easy to do for the FDR series. First, we'll discuss some common reasons as to why you would see inaccuracies in a clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter. If the flow inside of the pipe is very turbulent, the flow rate reading on an ultrasonic flow meter will typically begin to fluctuate. This is because ultrasonic flow meters detect the speed with which the liquid is traveling through the pipe and multiply this speed by the internal cross-sectional area of that pipe. This is how they arrive at a volumetric flow rate. If the meter detects that the fluid speed is fluctuating due to the turbulence, the flow rate reading from the meter will start to fluctuate as a result. If the sensor does not know the correct internal cross-sectional area of the pipe, then as a result, the flow rate reading will be inaccurate. The last thing that we'll discuss is the ultrasonic properties of the pipe or fluid. The properties in question are the ultrasonic velocity of the fluid, the ultrasonic velocity of the pipe material, or the kinematic viscosity of the liquid. It's important that the sensor knows the properties of the fluid or piping it's being used on to ensure optimal accuracy. Now that we know some of the typical reasons why an ultrasonic clamp-on flow meter might become inaccurate, let's see how the FDR series addresses these concerns. For issues with turbulence, there are two actions to take. The first thing we can do is increase the response time on the sensor. This will help the sensor average out what it sees inside of the pipe, which is perfect for making the flow rate reading steady when the flow is turbulent. You can find the response time setting by pressing and holding the mode key, then briefly press the mode key until you see speed, which can be adjusted by tapping the up or down arrows. A longer response time will average out the flow rate reading more than a shorter response time would, which is ideal for rapid turbulence. The second thing to do is to maximize the amount of uninterrupted straight piping before and after the location where the flow meter is mounted. The more straight piping you've got going into and then out of the meter, the more laminar the flow will be, which is ideal for accuracy. The best way to correct the flow rate on the FDR series is by performing what we call a span adjustment. This involves comparing the flow rate or accumulated flow the sensor measures to a known value, such as a reference flow meter or a known volume of liquid that just passed through. Although this method requires testing, it is nice because you do not need to know any details about the pipe dimensions or ultrasonic properties of the piping or the fluid. As long as you're able to correctly identify the flow rate or the volume of flow that passed through the pipe, you can perform a quality correction to the flow rate. Let's talk about an example of this process. If I have an FDR flow meter on a pipe and I want to be sure that it's reading accurately, I can either compare the flow rate on the meter to another flow meter on the same line, or I can compare the accumulated flow value on the meter as I fill up a 50 gallon tank. Let's say I fill up the tank and the FDR only reads that 49 gallons have passed through. I can calculate the span I need to enter by dividing the actual amount, 50 gallons, by the FDR's measured amount, 49 gallons, and then enter this value into the span adjustment setting to correct the flow rate. One final note on this method is that the quality of the correction is only as good as the quality of your flow rate or volume measurement. It might be a good idea to conduct multiple tests and average out your results to arrive at the best possible span adjustment value. If you cannot conduct any tests for the flow rate or the volume traveling through the meter, you can still correct the flow rate value. 
We spoke before about how the cross-sectional area and the ultrasonic properties of the fluid or pipe can play a role in the accuracy, and the FDR lets us enter in all of this information. From the current value display screen, press and hold the mode button, then tap the mode button until you see end. Tap on the up arrow, and the screen should now change to full. Now tap on the mode button until you see ADJ, which stands for adjust. You can choose between entering a span adjustment, which we covered before, or entering additional information about the pipe and fluid, which is under the PRO section. When you tap mode, you'll be able to find a way to input the exact outer diameter and thickness of the pipe, ultrasonic velocity of the fluid, and the fluid's kinematic viscosity. Inputting these settings to the best of your knowledge will help increase the accuracy.